Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this simulink video, we will design and model a step by step the differential protection for transmission line. So let's get place all the components library browser and just type power JUI at the very beginning state. Uh, right click and add block to the model. Okay, after that, again go to the power library browser and search for three phase source. Just three phase source, right click and add block, place it here. After that, write down and breaker and just take this three phase breaker place it here and after that take a VI measurement block and three phase VI measurement block will appear and add to the block add to the model now just copy these two control C and place it here control V okay Okay, now just place transmission line for this pi, right on pi section. Here it is. Right click. We need two blocks. Place it one here and the other one is just here. Okay. Now all this then just need one three phase shit. Three phase fault source. And after that I just need one stair generator. Okay write down right place it here and place this one it here okay just connect and change the components uh, values for first of all continuous changes to discrete the and apply the power g8 double click on the generator and just change the frequency to 50 are according to your uh, requirement and just click specify the short circuit parameter and list rest of the parameters are by default and the generator type is swing double click on the circuit breaker click close external and click ok do not change anything in the three phase UI measurement block. Okay, just connect th this with according to the ABC. Okay, A with A, B with B, and C with C. Double click on the pi section and make a hundred distance of 100 or anyone you want. And this is the frequency of 50. And if you want to add the zero and zero sequence embedding, the uh, positive sequence and negative sequence embedding, you can add it over here. Similarly, double click on this, make it 50, and the rest of the perimeter is at by default. Connect just this. Okay, now connect also the VI measurement block with the second pi section, and this should be connected with the circuit breaker. But double click on circuit breaker, make it close, external, and apply, and then okay. Okay, after that, I need a three phase so RL load, RLC load. I will just take three phase series RLC load and press Ctrl R to rotate it. Connect it. Double click on this. You can ch change the parameter values. I will keep all the values by default, but ch just change the frequency to 50. Now just double click on three phase fault source, make it external. Click OK and just connect this with the uh, corresponding sequence. C is connected with the C terminal and external parameter is connected with the this one now double click on this and change this value make it 0. Point. oh shit make it 0. 0.02 0. 0.14 and change this 0. 0.2 and the implicit value should be 0 0 and 0 as well click ok Oh, what error does it shows to me? Okay, here it 0 0.2. Oh. Okay, now all done. Now let's just develop the relay logic. For this, I will use a DMUX. In fact, I will need two DMUX. Oh. Now it just hanged. It will take a very short time, hopefully. Ah, here it is. Drag one up, someone copy and paste. We need two blocks. Okay, double click on this and make the number of inputs three. Output three. Similarly, for this, the number of outputs should be three. Click OK. Increase the size a little bit. Similarly, increase this size as well. Okay, the first input for this is the output of this 
current and the second is the connected with the output of this current after that i need root mean square block and i will need discrete i just need three blocks control c and press it three time for the upper one and three time for the lower one okay after that i need a sum block here it is and i need this two more okay all done just connect this with the connection is almost one positive is connected with the upper one and the one is connected with the lower one now all done just double click on this and make the one with minus it will just take the difference of these two input current i will explain the logic later but let me develop it first okay all done one input is at this one and, and the other, other input is given to this dmux and it will find out the difference of these two okay so after that i need an absolute block to get me a positive value at any time so i need to two time more okay after that i need a relational operator click any one you want and also i need this three time for three different signals okay connect the upper one with the input and double click on this and make it greater just greater click ok double click make it greater click ok double click make it greater click ok i just need a constant oh go to the source in shortcut and click right click and click add constant okay connect the constant with all these three relational operators cool now double click on this and make it 2 why i'm giving this 2 this is my pickup value i assume that my pickup value is 2 you can calculate your pickup value according to your question so after that i will need an sr flip flop why sr flip flop it is just because to latch the output until another uh, if the fault is generated it should latch for the next time once the fault is there it should be there when it removed then the fault should be unleashed okay okay i also need this three control c control v control v i make it three okay just connect it with the s of the east flip flop okay done i also need the constant copy and paste it here on control v connect the r with the this one oh shit now done double click on this and initial value should be zero and also it should be in uh, boolean where it is boolean okay i forget it here it should also be boolean over here okay now i need a constant and n n gate for this go to the logic operation and pick any logic gate oh i pick the help command now it will take eight block and this is my end command double click on this and make the number of input 3 click ok increase the size a very little bit connect the queue with each end gate now after that i need a data conversion type oh. data type and it should be data type conversion right click and add this okay and the output of this should be connected with each of the circuit break circuit breaker okay it's it's connected i will make it a little bit up just i'm just arranging my circuit okay now all done i just need also a terminator 
because I do not want to need I do not need any Q bar output. So connect each Q naught with the terminator, control C and paste two time more. Connect with this one and connect with this one as well. Okay. Now the circuit is almost complete. Now let's make a subsystem of the relay logic diagram. So for this select the corresponding region. Okay, select the corresponding region, press the control G, your subsystem will be created. Now just press control R to rotate. Okay, now here it is. Okay, my circuit is completed now. I will just press a scope and demux to show my result. This is my demux and I will show also a scope. Double click on this, make it 3. Double click on the scope, go to view, configuration properties, make it 3, layout 3, apply, ok. Now connect this with the demux. Cool. Now I just want to see my output at this point for example. I will just run my simulation for 0 0.25, click OK. It's almost done, simulation is done. It is the before part my the voltage parameters. Okay. You can also place the DMAX for the current and the rest of the EVA measurement block as well. Now I want to generate a fault. The fault is for example 1 at allocation of 0 0.02. Double click. Double click on this. Here it is. The fault is generated at a point of 0 0.02 and it is up to 0 0.14. And this disturbance is because of the RL nature of the load. You can also check your result at any other location. Control C and press Control V at this point, for example. And I sh need to change this 0. Okay. Double click on this. Just run this. Here is your voltage value before the transmission line, right? You can also see your current value. This is my current block. Make it a bit upper. Okay, double click on the current. Run this. This is the current waveform of your Simulink. So, thank you so much. This was a complete tutorial how you will design the differential production bar transmission line step by step. Thank you so much.